Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video I'm going to show you where all the surface entrances are, and how to get to the obelisks. You'll find the first tunnel entrance next to coordinates 27 by 61. I'll start here so I can show you around the area first, so you know where it is. There's a river down there. Big central column. Some yellow glowing rocks up there. And the entrance is that big hole here. There are five surface entrances in total. Three obelisks, but four terminals. Work your way around the path. And because it's daytime, you get a bright shine in this area. Now go up here slowly, because you don't want to go on the surface and get burnt. As you can see to my left, I've built a surface building here. If you've already seen my previous videos on my surface building tests, you'll know where you can build. But if not, go check it out. The coordinates of where you come out at is at 24 by 65. This area by the cliff edge is safe in the daytime and you won't catch fire. But you have to wait till night time to go to the surface or you'll get burnt alive. Right, you can see the obelisk in front of us, so let's go to it. It's easier on a rock tray because you can stay to the cliffs and avoid all the reaper kings on the ground. Even though this looks like a purple obelisk, it's actually called the green one. And the coordinates for the terminal is at 22.5 by 77.7. I'll take you back to the tunnel entrance so you know where to go. Look for a big metal structure overhanging the entrance. Go back down here. It gets really dark down here at night, so don't forget to bring a torch. There we go back to the tunnel entrance, at coordinates 27 by 63.3. Right, look at my position on the map, because the top right surface area has two entrances, and I'm going to show you the other one now. This one's just off from a blue tree area. The place where I'm starting is at 4078. There's a ramp up to the tunnel entrance, watch out for nameless. I'll just quickly show you around to show you where to go. Not sure why that's not moving. And the exact tunnel GPS is at 37.2 by 80.3. Put my torch on again so I can see. So snake your way around here. It's a fairly wide tunnel. And there's flames up there, so it's daytime. Jump on the wall. Rubbish controls. And let me walk sideways and not up. Try that again. I should get his controls sorted. And I'm going to hang here. Otherwise I might catch on fire. Okay, we just wait till night time, then we go out on the surface. And the GPS for this entrance is at 34.2 by 81.9. I won't go to the obelisk this time because it's the same one as before. I'll just take you part way. There it is in front of us. I'll go back so you can see the entrance of the tunnel from this side. got a charge station there and this one again has got a metal structure over the cave entrance. I 
and the GPS for the entrance again is at 37.5 by 80. This is the entrance to the Blue Obelisk. I'll start at coordinates 19 by 27 and have a look around so you can see how to find it. There's a grass pathway against a wall there and it follows on that side and there's a crossroads here. Now I'm going to move over here. There's a big metal structure over there and if I carry on that takes me to the lake. So if you find the lake I bring up a map so you can see it. If you get here, then you know where to go. So I'll just head back to the cave entrance. It sounds like you're getting hurt as you pass through here, but you're not, it's just bad coding. Follow the path round like the others. Those cliff platforms won't be there unless somebody's built them. And the surface entrance is at 16.7 by 23.7. That leads you to the small surface area in the top left of a map. This is a safe zone that you can wait in the daytime. And at night you can go out and collect the drops or go to the obelisk. Again this obelisk looks more purple than blue. And the GPS for the console coordinates is 18.9 by 16. But watch out for all the Reaper Kings. I'll take you back to the entrance again so you can find it, but it's pretty simple as it's just one path. There's only one entrance to this surface saying because it's small. And again, the cave location is at 19.3 by 27.3. Now we're going to cover the bottom left surface zone. And again, this one has two entrances. The quickest one to the obelisk is here at coordinates 77 by 31. I'll show you that area around me so you can find it quicker. It's in the radioactive zone, so you're going to need a hazard suit. It has a waterfall on its right. Go past two red crystals from that entrance. There's a poison river below it. The entrance is past what looks like zigzagging steps. There's lots of beasties on the way up, so make sure you're prepared. And the tunnel entrance starts at 79.2 by 27.7. Work your way around again. Find yourself in an opening and then start going up a wall. It's best to take a drake because it's going to take ages climbing with picks. These platforms are what I built from a surface base test. I'll link that at the end for you if you want to watch that if you're not already. That brings us up to the surface. The coordinates of where this entrance is is at 79.4 by 24.5. And it's a quick hop away from a red obelisk, which I'll take you to now. The terminal coordinates is at 80.8 by 20.3. It's as soon as you come out of the cave, so it's dead easy to find. 
That obelisk actually looks the colour it's meant to be, unlike the others that look purple. It might be a short way to the obelisk, but it's a hell of a long way to climb up to it, if you haven't got a drake. And this entrance coordinates again is at 79.2 by 27.9. Now we come to the last entrance. It goes to the same surface zone on the bottom left of the map. I'll start here at coordinates 51 by 22. I'll look around the area again so you can find it easily. Landmark wise it's not many around you, it looks like it's just in a corner. The good thing about this entrance is that you can gain access to it from a green zone. The bad thing about it is that it's miles away from the obelisk. Again just follow the path around. Jump up there. And you come to this metal archway. The coordinates for it is at 55.3 by 23.6. Now you can see the obelisk there in the distance and it's going to take ages to get to so I'm not going to bother. But what I'm going to do is go around the entrance here and show you what you're looking for to find it if you're coming back. So there's a drop there and it's kind of hidden away up on this cliff area. And if you don't know what you're looking for, you might miss it. Just look for the big metal doorway. I'll take you back to the entrance again in case you need to write down the coordinates. And it's here at 52.1 by 22.7. Right, those are all the surface entrances. And I've shown you how to get to the obelisks. However, there's one console left that I need to show you. If you make your way to the spine, the big metal skeletal column thing, at coordinates 54 by 51. Dive down right to the bottom of the map. Look for the big skeleton, then fly off towards its tail into the blue shard looking cave. But watch out because there's loads of drakes and nameless in here. Head up the blue ramp, find the light circle and you'll find the fourth terminal in the centre of it. Its coordinates is 42 by 36. From this terminal you can enter the Rockwell boss fight, plus transfer to other servers like you can with the rest of the obelisks. Speaking of transferring to other servers, don't forget you can use the surface loot drops to transfer out. And also the normal loot chests you find around the map. These are by far the fastest and easiest way to transfer when you're starting off an aberration. They're just a bit of a pain to find, so it might be a good idea to build next to them. Thanks for watching. If it was helpful, click the like button. And if you're new, please click subscribe. You can also click the bell icon and get notified as soon as I upload next. And don't forget to check out my other helpful videos. Goodbye and hope to see you again.